Ideally, we'd love to have all our fans here, you know, cheering us on and, and getting behind us. But unfortunately, with everything going on, as everyone knows, that can't happen. But, you know, so it's, it's, it's a special time any time we get to play at Ashton Gate. Um, we've trained there a few times and every time we've trained there, you know, the pitch is amazing. The groundsmen have done a great job and the boys um, obviously know the pitch and have, have been looking really sharp on it. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we can use that to our advantage on Sunday. Um, and get a win. In a normal course of a year, this week would probably be when you're coming back for pre-season. We've got eight games to go, training and playing in this heat, things like water breaks etc, is that going to be important? Yeah, it's massive. I know like even when I'm watching on telly sometimes I'm like, oh no, another break. But it is very important, you know. Uh, I think the injury rate of like pulled muscles and stuff in Germany was up. Uh, 200 or something, uh, plus percent and stuff like that and uh, everyone needs to realise those little things really do help you know being hydrated and getting the right little uh, gels and stuff in uh, is, is really important so um, yes yeah, and obviously like you said it's been a it's been a very very long break um, but the boys have, have all worked really hard and uh, everyone's everyone's fit um, obviously the, the weather uh, hotter than, than we're used to playing in and that will come into effect in, in a lot of games especially with three in a week but um, once again it's another thing it's, it's the same for both teams at the end of the day uh, uh, obviously we've been, like I said we've been working hard so hopefully that fitness will come through It'll be different Green zone, amber zone, red zone teams coming out separately as a player do you have to kind of mentally adjust to that or once you get here 90 minutes before kickoff, do you just slot back into that game mentality? Yeah, I mean, uh, you, ha you have to do it. Like I said, uh, that's, th that's the rules at the moment um, and everyone's in the same boat. So you just got to switch on. Um, you got to have that mentality within your own self that you want to win the game and, and you want to you wanna do well and create your own atmosphere if you like. Um, uh, ideally, like I said, you have you have fans to help certain moments. If you have a shot, if you make a big tackle, you know, everyone gets behind you. It does give you an extra buzz. But it's important that we try and everyone that's in the stadium, including you guys, you know, when something happens on the, on the weekend, whoever's whoever's here, uh, kind of does a big cheer and gets behind the boys because um, little things when you hear a voice does help. A lot of supporters, um, possibly 10,000, watched last week's game, and there'll be similar numbers again on Sunday. Can you feel, even though they're not here, perhaps messages of goodwill, can you feel that, that power and can you harness that going, going into Sunday's game? Yeah, definitely. Um, firstly, we, we just want to say like, uh, we really appreciate that support. You know, that's absolutely amazing that 10,000 people uh, viewed the game. Obviously it was disappointing and we was, we was very disappointed in the game as well. And it, it wasn't a nice drive, drive home. And I'm sure the, the people that paid their money to watch the game uh, didn't really enjoy it but um, that's football at the end of the day it's three points you win some you lose some and you got to move on to the next match and uh, yeah um, uh, like I said we really appreciate it and uh, hopefully we can give them something to smile about in the weeks to come. There are another 24 points and, and eight games to play for as the longest serving player at the club um, personally and, and for Bristol City a club you know and love so much how keen are you to, to push us on to get that promotion? Yeah, um, since the day I've come here, you know, I mean, my first goal was obviously to help us get into the championship. And since then, it's it's been to get this club to the Premier League. And, you know, we've, we've been getting closer and closer each year. Um, and, and, and that remains exactly the same, you know. Um, like you said, you know, uh, I love the club. My family's uh, been brought up here and stuff. So it holds a special place in our hearts. Um, and if, if I could be part of, of history of getting this club to the Premier League, it would, it would be uh, absolutely amazing.